Next step, you might think, is to jump out of the window and go to your next rock launch. However, we've done a lot of shield jumps. And the problem with shield jumps, specifically when you unequip your shield in midair, is it messes with the ragdoll state. So, um, what ends up happening is the uh, the ragdoll state, your your character's state, so to speak, gets into a very confused, like it, it becomes very confused. So, ragdoll is more than just a flag, probably to make sure that like force is transferred to you when you get hit. So it's not just a flag where you're either in the ragdoll state or you're out of the ragdoll state. There are other variables involved. So what happens when you unequip your shield in midair is it kind of messes with those variables and it and it causes a problem. Um, because of that, when you enter into the ragdoll state, force is not properly transferred to you and you'll end up stopping in midair. Um, and I'm going to illustrate that here in a second. The way we can prevent that from happening is what you can do is you can just throw yourself into the ragdoll state. Anytime you get into the ragdoll state and then you exit out of the ragdoll state, it'll reset those variables and you don't have to worry about having a problem. And I'll, uh, all right. So to illustrate the glitch, it's, and it's a problem glitch. It's not one you can take advantage of. I'm going to do this next rock launch. I'll talk about it later. But what you'll see is I'm going to stop in midair. Like that. It's because the force wasn't properly transferred to me and it didn't know how to throw me correctly. So to prevent that from happening, go ahead and load our save here. All you have to do is actually just Throw yourself into the ragdoll state and throw yourself out. Um, throw yourself into your, the ragdoll state and then let yourself recover. Reloading a save will also do this, but reloading a save is time consuming. It takes approximately 30 seconds. So what you'll do, as soon as you get the paraglider, go ahead and do a shield jump and land on your shield. As soon as you land on your shield, unequip your shield and it will cause you to fall on your face. Like this. Now you're in the ragdoll state and you're out of it. The variables have been reset, everything is the way it should be, and your next launch will work properly. So to continue on the route, jump out of the tower and we're going to head to uh, two Hyrule herbs that we'll need to heal ourselves after this next launch. Go ahead and grab these two herbs, and I'll talk you through what we're going to do with the launch. You already saw me do it once. What we're going to do is we're going to stasis the, the boulder, charge it up, get on top of it, walk to the edge, and then we're going to backflip. Now, um, where you position yourself on the boulder after it's charged up is there's three faces. First, you'll want to make sure you... Uh, Face the opposite direction so that when you backflip, you're backflipping into the boulder's uh, direction. You'll notice there's three phases here that come to a point right about where I'm standing. You'll want to position Link almost on the left face, but near that intersection, right here. That way, when you backflip, you'll be hit, and everything will work out well. Now, the timing for the backflip for getting hit... Um, as a note, timings for monitors and, and TVs will change depending upon the latency of the video for the TV. However, this timing for, this, for all these launches that I'm going to go through is the same regardless of what you're on, unless you have like a whole half second latency. And, and that has to do with the stasis counts. So what happens is the stasis will go through a set of one, two, three, four, 
plus a is 12, plus 8. It'll go through a set of 20 counts, each with increasing speed. So it'll first do a slow 4 count. Then it'll do a faster 8 count, but in the same tempo as the 4 count. And then it will do another 8 count at double the tempo. Uh, when you jump, you will jump on the 7th count of the last set of 8 counts at the double tempo. Now, if you're familiar with playing music, like in band, maybe you're in band, maybe you play guitar, um, the stasis counts happen kind of like a, a timetable. Uh, so it'll start off with uh, quarter notes, then it'll go into eighth notes. So it'll be like one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and. And then the last set of eights, I count as uh, eighth notes, but in double time. So it'll go one and one and two and three and four and. Uh, and if you count that way, you'll jump on four, because four will be the seventh will be the seventh count of the last eight set. So it'll sound like here. I'll go ahead and count it out for you. It'll sound like this: one, one, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. And you jump on four. Pretty easy. So let's see here. Do I already have a save? Yeah, I do. That'll be good enough. All right. So to kind of walk through it, face away from the rock and stasis it and charge. Oh, my stasis isn't complete yet. You'll want to make sure you don't run out of stamina. If you run out of stamina, you won't be able to paraglide later. So charge it to red. It doesn't have to be red. Also, forgot to mention, the direction that you want your vector going is approximately where the tower is off in the distance, right there. Turn around. Get into position, and then jump on four. Then paraglide as soon as you can, and you're off. So you'll be heading towards this uh, plateau right here that's in front of the tower. That's where you'll be going. So let's walk through that again. And do the launch. Naomi, step through the second rock launch. Walk up to the boulder, face away from it and stasis. Charge attack the boulder, aiming the vector at the tower. Climb on top, turn around, and move to the edge of the boulder. Backflip on the seventh count. That was super high. Once you've done that, heal with the two Hyrule herbs that you just picked up. Apparently, I'm missing a Hyrule herb. Not sure why. It's okay. We can live without it. Then you'll want to change to bombs because we have to deal with skellies, and change to the axe because we have to cut down a tree next. If it's nighttime, by the time you reach this point, which on your first few runs it probably will be, not a big deal, whistle run up to the road. The skellies will spawn at the road if they spawn correctly. If they don't, what you'll want to do, and it is nighttime, uh, for reference, nighttime starts at 9 o'clock, that's when skellies will spawn. Uh, if they don't spawn at the road, I would advise you to double back and get them to spawn, because you need to get them out of the way so that you can do the tree launch correctly. So they should spawn right here. Do a jump. One of the best ways to place a bomb right there is to just jump and then place a bomb. Because when you're in mid-air and you place a bomb, the bomb will drop. It'll save you time and will accomplish the same thing as picking it up and throwing it or placing it down. There are two hardy radishes. You'll want to grab those for the tree launches we're about to do. And then we're going to do our first tree launch. So to do a tree launch, um, you're going to need to cut down the tree, get behind it and stasis it and charge it up the way you did with the rock. However, there is an extra step. After it's charged up, you'll want to step away from the tree, face the tree, place a bomb on the ground, kick the bomb so that it's up against the tree because you need the bomb to be as, as close to the tree as possible. Climb over the tree and explode the bomb. 
and that will set the angle of the tree. Um, you have to climb over the tree before exploding the bomb, otherwise you're going to blow yourself up. Now each tree requires a different angle for the launch. And actually, to show you this, I'm going to go ahead and kill... Oh, snap. I'll, I'm going to kill myself uh, showing you this tree launch, and then we'll just reload from the last save, which will be here. Uh, and that'll give me full hearts. So each re tree launch has a very specific angle you need so that you're launched in the right direction. Uh, the bomb doesn't set your horizontal angle, it only sets your vertical angle. So setting your horizontal angle is important for when you cut down or where you cut down the tree. Now I found very good visual cues that I'm going to show you here. Hold on, let me cut the grass so that they're clear. My apologies. If you'll notice in the roots here, there's a small root that kind of pokes out right here in the middle. If you cut down the tree at that small root, you will get the angle you seek. Actually, to be more specific, you should be slightly inside the root, right here. And then do a charge attack, and you'll get the right angle. Now, the correct angle, you want the, the log to be slightly facing uh, this tree over here, but not center to it. If it's center to it, when you launch, you'll hit the tree, and it'll interrupt the tree launch. Alright, so we want the square bomb. No, we don't want the square bomb. Face away from the tree and charge it up. Um, as a note, you'll want to place the bombs on the thickest part of the tree, which is basically where the trunk is. Doing that makes a more consistent tree launch. Um, so in, this, in the case of this tree, that would be the left side of the tree which is right here. See how it's thicker on the left? That's where we're going to place the bomb. So, stasis it and charge it up. Step away from the tree, face the tree, place the bomb, kick it, explode, and jump on the seventh count. Now I know that all happens in really fast succession. These tree launches are probably one of the hardest tricks to do. Um, the death was intentional because I didn't have any heal items, uh, because the dumb bats hurt me. Ava, stop. The cat wants attention. Um, so we're just going to reload. Ava, stop. Uh, but I did get the launch. As you saw, I was launched in the proper angle, in the proper way. So I'm going to go through that again. I'm going to have Naomi dictate. Keep in mind, it's this very, very small route right here. Uh, that we're going to be cutting the tree down at. Naomi, step through the tree launch. Cut down the tree and move behind it. Face away from the tree and stasis. Charge attack until red. Okay, this is a bad angle. Step back, face the tree, place a bomb shield, step forward, climb over and detonate. Jump attack I'm going to try to avoid it. Alright, I was able to avoid it, but the angle is just horrible. So, um, I'm going to try to move to the right over here, hoping the Guardian doesn't see me. Alright. Uh, now, when it comes to these tree launches in Hyrule Field, um, not all of them have to be done. If you miss a tree launch, you can simply run to the next tree launch. So we off. Uh, it is slower, but it doesn't kill your run. Now there are required tree launches that you have to do. And if you have to run, I highly suggest running through these trees. There are no guardians close enough to see you if you run through the trees. Whistle running won't draw attention. And then there is a lone tree out here by the road in the middle of the field. That is where the next tree launch is going to take place. Make sure you heal before you get to the tree. So that you don't die when you do the tree launch. All right. Same process as before. You're going to cut down the tree, charge it up, place a bomb and kick the bomb to the tree, and then jump over, explode the bomb, and I forgot to tell you. Instead of doing a backflip during the tree launch, what you're going to do is a jump attack. The jump attack will hold you in the air longer 
than almost any other strategy. And that, that allows the timing of your jump to be a little bit more flexible. Not a whole lot more flexible, but a little bit more. So you want to make sure that you do a jump attack uh, before the tree launches to hit you. Now for this tree, the place you want to cut down the tree out is this really long root right here. You basically want to be standing on this root and cut down the tree. After that, do the tree launch like normal, uh, making sure you place the bomb on the thicker side. Naomi, step through the tree launch. Cut down the tree and move behind it. Face away from the tree and stay put. Charge attack until red. Step back, face the tree, place a bomb shield, step forward, climb over and detonate. Jump attack on the seventh count. Alright, we got it. Now, if you're running with DLC, which I highly recommend you do because it takes away randomness. Alright, it's 4 a.m., so we might have to deal with skellies. If you're running with DLC, you're going to want to get a piece of armor that's over here um, by the platform. That piece of armor will increase your attack by one, and it will help you survive. Um, help you survive hits. I'll show you. My bad. I'll show you the best place to uh, equip the armor, in my opinion. We'll go ahead and get the Phantom Ganon armor, or Phantom, just the Phantom armor, I guess, not Phantom Ganon. After we get it, uh, we want to come over here. Grab this uh, hardy radish to heal with, and this Hyrule herb. Now, this Hyrule herb you should should be a second one, the one you got in the beginning. However, that seems to be gone. Oh, this is going to be a problem. If you do the last launch correctly, before you grab the hardy radish, I would suggest you walk over here and wait for the skellies to spawn. They would spawn right in front of you. Now, if you're running. You will be coming down to the left side of the flag, right side now because I'm facing the opposite direction. But if you're facing this direction, it'll be the left side of the flag. So if you miss the tree launch and you're running, run to the left side of the flag. The skellies will spawn it about the flag. Blow them up and continue on so that they don't bother you. Alright, this next tree launch is actually a required tree launch. I highly advise that you safety save before doing it. The angle for this tree launch is very similar to the angle of the first one. There is a very, very small root that pokes out in the middle. You'll want to cut down the tree at that root. So right about here. After that, do the tree launch like normal. Naomi, step through the tree launch. Cut down the tree and move behind it. Face away from the tree and stay put. Charge attack until red. Step back, face the tree, place a bomb shield, step forward, climb over, and detonate. Jump attack on the seventh count. The reason that is required is because the wall is guarded by a heck ton of guardians. You need the speed and the height to avoid the guardians as best as possible. So long as you get the tree launch, even if you don't clear over the, the wall, you should be safe. By the time you get to the wall and climb over it, you should be able to avoid any attacks that are thrown at you. Thankfully, we got a perfect tree launch, well, near perfect, It's going to drop us about right here. Alright, also don't forget to heal. Always heal after a tree launch. Always heal after any launch that causes damage to you. This is the next required launch, the slab launch. Now the slab launch is a bit tricky. What we're going to do is we're going to crawl underneath the slab launch, uh, position ourselves very specifically, and drop a bomb to set the vertical angle. Not just the vertical angle, but the horizontal angle too. Where you set the bomb will determine where the launch fly or where the slab flies. Uh, now one of the things I wanted to talk to you about is when you jump. The slab is very tricky when it's flying on when it should hit you. Now I've set up a visual cue that best illustrates um, 
that can give you when you should jump so that the slab hits you and flings you in the proper way. Now what happens if you look at my controller on the screen? I'm going to illustrate the slab. Hold on, i got to get the right angle. So what happens, the slab is like resting about right here. When you launch it, it's going to rotate slowly in midair. What you want to do is you're going to be sit standing on the edge of the slab. What you want to do is you want to jump such that the slab hits you and then flings you. Now the visual cue you're going to do is you're going to point the camera at the ground before the slab launches. Then the moment the slab launches, you're going to press LZ, which is going to center the camera on yourself and put the camera at about right here-ish. Then as the slab rotates, it'll push the camera closer to where Link is standing. When you see that camera push closer to Link, that is your cue to jump because that means this slab is rotating and it hasn't reached its maximum height. Because the moment that slab starts going down, it's going to completely miss you. Right, now I'm going to illustrate the movement of the actual movement of the slab uh, before doing the launch. I believe we already saved. Yeah, we already saved. All right. So to set up the slab launch, you'll want to crawl to the corner of this chest. You want to make sure you're going straight at the corner like this. Then you'll want to scope while you're walking and turn for one second, approximately one second. I actually do this by feel, but it's approximately one second. Drop a bomb and come out. That looks about right. That might be a little bit to the right. Go to the right side and charge it up like you did with the other launches. Load the bomb to set the angle. Now, I use stasis to set my camera. Also, if I get, get to the position early, I can release the stasis. Um, you don't have to do whatever is best, but I feel like I have more, more control doing this. So I'm gonna climb up here and I'm gonna use stasis to set my camera. Now, when it releases, you see how, how the camera moved closer to Link right at the beginning? It's, a, it's at about the one to two second mark. Now I'm going to show you that again and kind of illustrate the way the slab is moving um, so that you better understand what I'm talking about. So again, we're going to go in here. Crawl to the corner, scope, burn for a second. That might actually be too far. Nope, that looks fine. Come to the right, arch it up. Load to set the angle, and I'm gonna keep... All right, now watch the slab's angle. Watch how it rotates, you see that? That's exactly what I'm referring to. Oh, apparently I entered the Hyrule Castle. That's fine. Not a big deal. All right. So now I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do the slab launch for real this time. I'll have Naomi dictate as I'm doing it, and you'll you'll get to see uh, what it looks like. I have missed this slab launch before. If I miss it, not a big deal. Um, I'll just have to reload and try again. It is a required launch. It gets you where you need to go. And if you don't get to where you need to go, you have to reload. Really stinks, but that's that's just reality. Right. Naomi, step through the slab launch. Crawl to the corner of the chest. Scope and turn right for one second place a bomb. Crawl out and move to the right side of the slab. Face away from the slab and stasis. Charge attack until red. Detonate. Climb on top moving to the front edge facing forward. Wait until stasis is released then shield. See, that was too early. It's an example of what happens forward. when you uh, when you jump too early. Slab lock launch is very trickly. Tricky, excuse me. All right. I'm going to do this next one with full concentration because I want you to see it be successful. I'm not going to have Naomi dictate because listening to her can be distracting.
I'm also going to release the stasis early because I really want you to see it. And waiting for stasis to release on its own is a bit confusing for me. Right there. See how that worked? Alright, now what we're aiming for is there is a... Right, there is a platform right here. See that? That roadway right there, that's where we're aiming for. Um, now it is highly likely that you may not get the heights you need to get there. If that's the case, I'm going to go walk through the worst case scenario. If that's the case, if you get launched and you don't have the height, the minimum you must hit is this platform or this this ledge right here. You have to get onto there at least. 